nervous. Um, and I'm pretty sure Coach Hopkins called a timeout. And I think after that, we kind of all had our little huddle at the end. And we kind of just all encouraged each other and said, like, no matter what happens, we know we tried our hardest. I know, I know we were all nervous, like we felt it in each other, but we all had confidence and we thought we were going to pull it through, and we, I think we should have, but it, it turned out to be a great game, especially since Hazleton, they're rivals of us for a long time, and we thought we were going to pull it through. But it was We tried so hard when we, we went out there and we gave it our all in those last two minutes, and it might not have been the outcome that we wanted, but I feel that that game really led us to going into playoffs, how we wanted to push each other even more and even go even harder for the next game. In reflecting on the season, I know as a whole entire team, especially with having only juniors and freshmen, we all grew together towards the end of the season. Like the bond became much stronger between everyone. We all were close. We all wanted. Said, I think everything she said was true, but I also think losing a lot of games also was a big factor of bringing us closer because we lost together, not just like a single person losing. And we had to work together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to come back from those, so we didn't give up on one another. The JV players kept p pushing and giving their all, even when they might not have been on the court with us, they were giving it all for us, for the varsity players as a whole. Like, that was a, a huge impact on my game. Uh, and definitely the, be the, the bench mm -hmm. definitely, definitely helped me when I got down on the court or if I made a mistake and they were like, it's okay, just go back out. I agree with everything the girls were talking about. I think um, from the beginning of the season, we, um, you know, we were a little inexperienced, and as the season went on, um, we got more experience. And I think the Huntington game was a big part of where we came together a little bit. We had some injuries, and the girls came together and we won that game. And it kind of made us kind of realize that hey, we have it in us, we have a chance to be pretty good here, we just gotta get consistent with it. And then in the, when the league season started, we kinda struggled a little bit. We were losing the teams by 4, 30, 40 points and the girls could have easily have quit. They could have um, kinda backed out a little bit and they just came together and they kept working really hard and taking the coaching and, and really you know, putting everything together. And then all those teams we played in the first half that we were losing by 40 points, they became five-point games, six-point games, and we were at fourth quarter. It, it, we had a chance to win those games. So, you know, the girls really did a good job of staying together when things were tough in the beginning. When we used to bring these, in the beginning of the season, we used to bring these big speakers, this massive speaker about this big, and we would blast the music, get hype on the way down. We would all carry our little lunch boxes with our <laughs> snacks for before the game, and then we would bring them in while the JV was playing, and we would all eat, and... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Helena always watched her TV shows. Like, <laughs> everyone would be, like, talking, and Helena would be in the back watching corner the watching The Bachelor. Like, yeah. <laughs> listen to Christmas music oh, and yeah. we were singing yeah. I don't even know what we were singing we were singing all I want for Christmas Carey. Mariah Carey yeah. all I want for Christmas is you and we were just sing we were screaming I was, was it screaming. the Berwick tournament it, yeah it was it the was the Berwick tournament, tournament. Yeah. yeah and we just sing Christmas music and we had candy canes and we were mm -hmm. getting pumped before a game I think yeah. Christmas and was in like two days so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Isabella Cap took a candy cane, chucked it to the back of the bus, it exploded all over me and Jaden. Julia Glowacki 
stepped up and she was kind of she was like a shocker no one we didn't really know that she could like she impressed all of us on the court she came in for me i think the game after i got hurt and scored 16 points yes. was it yeah. 16 points that's that's very impressive her three pointer is unbelievable she like barely missed i think she had three threes in the game it was really impressive she impressed me a lot Isabella Cat. Oh. <laughs> I don't think there was a practice that she wasn't on the ground <laughs> or, or like not hustling at all. Before, this is a like a memory that I just always think of with her. Before every game, we would line up for the national anthem and she would be towards the benches more and we the all the starters would be at the end. And after, she would just run up and knock us all over before the game and try to get us all pumped up. And also, Kate Pazinko, she always guarded me on when we were on defense. Well, she guarded me a lot, and she really pushed me, and I, I wouldn't expect that coming from her. She, she did so well on me, and I think she has a lot to bring next year. So, um, Cameron always was an offensive threat for me. She, uh, whenever I'd practice defense, she would always be the one to guard. She was always, she would shoot the ball, she would drive, she would pass. You had to stop her. She was going to the basket, you had to stop her. Um, Liv, who was also another point guard like Cameron, went in, she's Helena's sister, so she had some competition with Helena. She wants to prove her game. She wants to, she wants to prove that she could be Helena. She could work as hard as Helena, and she plays amazing defense. summer league and um... for next year well it's gonna be our senior year or my senior year at least so I'm kind of excited to play I'm really looking forward to um, the summer leagues I feel like last year was kind of a little hectic the fall leagues we didn't we weren't really we're get, we were getting into a new program so now this year I think we're kind of settled in and we'll be able to learn more in the summer and be able to into next year all three of us are going to be seniors um, with Bree not playing her sophomore year due to an injury, I think she has a lot to bring senior year, especially stepping up her junior year. And also with Jaden, she was a great leader for our team. She, every time I didn't know what to do, she always we would rely on Jaden. Yeah, yeah. To go do something. She saved me a lot. <laughs> um, and I, also, I think all three of us have things to work with and everything. And I think also JJ, um, me starting the season being a point guard and I didn't really know what to do, JJ stepped up and helped me out with that and she really she really did take a big role in doing that. Also, Jill with her, she's so fast, she's gone defense and all that and Brie Kiak with shooting threes, she can do that very well. I think we can all come together as a team. And I, yeah, I think definitely it's a whole new environment with us coming in and being seniors because this year we never, like, ha we really did have to step up. And next year we're already, it's all going to be the same. We're going to hopefully add some new younger, like, lower classmen, but we're all going to be the upperclassmen, and I think we should all step up and really take it and shock the valley.